Hi. Uh, today I wanted to talk about how to sharpen your knife at home. I know a lot of professional chefs, chefs prefer the whetstone sharpening. Um, for home chefs, I prefer the, the home sharpener. Uh, I know a lot of home sharpeners have gotten bad reputations, but the chef's choice that I have here, the Model 110, is a recommended better quality sharpener. And uh, one of the reasons for that is that it comes with three sharpening stones. Uh, the one here on my right is a coarse sharpener that you would use every once in a while um, when your knife gets particularly dull. But uh, more than often you just give it a finishing sharpen with these two stones over here. These are the diamond stones and these are going to give you your finished sharpen and your very fine um, complete sharpening edge. Uh, the one thing that I like about this is that the sharpener itself has magnets on the side so that it's actually going to hold your knife at the desired 20 degree angle and that has it on both sides so really all you need to do is to slowly pull the knife through to get the sharpened edge on it. The other thing I like about this is that it has suction cups on the bottom so that as you're pulling the knife through you don't have to worry about pulling the sharpener towards you. Um, what I'm going to be sharpening today is my uh, Santuco knife which uh, unfortunately I don't sharpen my knives as often as I should and I've allowed this to get um, a bit duller than, than it should be. So um, we're just going to ignore that for this moment. But um, I'm going to start with a coarse sharpen and then give it a little finer sharpening here and hopefully by the time I'm done we'll be able to cut the piece of paper. So I'm simply going to turn it on and like I said with the magnets it's simply going to hold it in place and I'm going to very slowly pull it through. Now the one thing that you have to remember is that your, your blade of your knife is angled so that as you pull the knife through, you're not going to pull it straight, we're actually going to pull it side with, pull it with a little angle to make sure that it maintains contact with the blade all the way through. Okay, so now that I'm done with the coarse sharpness, sharpening, I just want to get any grit that might be there off the edge. I'm going to cover that up because hopefully I don't ever want to have to use that this side again. And for the most part, I'm going to use these two here. This is going to be my fine sharpening and my finished sharpening. And you're going to notice a tremendous difference in the sound when I put it through because I'm not taking off a tremendous amount of metal anymore. I'm just giving it a very fine edge. Just want to pull it through nice and slowly, alternating sides to make sure to turn the knife again as you get toward the very end. Remember, the slower you pull the knife through, the more you're allowing the diamond blades to sharpen your knife. And we'll just go one more time here. Notice how the magnets keep the knife in position. And then for the final finish, Notice you can hardly hear anything. This is the final edge that it's putting on. And this is a sharpening that's going to be done in addition to your sharpening steel. Your sharpening steel is going to realign the serrations that are on the bottom of the blade. And this is really just going to cut you a new sharper edge. This is going to put that fine 15, 20 degree bevel on it. That's going to allow you to cut more sharply. And now if we have gone through this correctly, if I turn it over and get the beveled edge, you can see that I can actually cut through the paper much nicer. And that's it. Thank you.